greetings and salutations to all of you lovely people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, I'm excited for it. I got Easy Mill back on the channel. This is going to be up, down, the song that apparently got him signed or at least put him on Eminem and, and Dre's radar. I've gone over this ad nauseum at this point. I don't think that it was one song that attributed to him being signed by Aftermath or Shady Records, whichever label he fell under. I think it was his entire discography. Um, whether or not this was the song that got him recognized initially, I don't think that one song is ever really enough, right? Um, it might have created the conversation. But a lot of the songs that I've reacted to, I've told you guys, no, this is why he got signed. Um, and I've also explained that because he's multi-talented, he's an asset to them. Like, he can help them out with some shit. I've been reacting to a lot of Eminem on the Patreon. The dude needs a little bit of help. He needs a little bit of help. Not gonna lie, and I think Easy Milk can help him not just the other way around. Now that might be a little bold of me to say, but some of you guys that are on the Patreon, you all know, you all know, you guys feel it. But I am excited to get back to some more Easy Mill, some more hip hop Easy Mill. Uh, I do you know, enjoy his R&B side a little bit more uh, personally as a massive hip hop fan, but uh, he, the dude knows how to structure bars hopefully it's a little bit clear on this one i would assume so we'll have to see um sometimes the, pr the pronunciation is a little it's lost it's blurred it's slurred and i have that same problem i've told you guys that before i it's hard for me to use a combination of words because of you know what's going on with my mouth um but uh but yeah i'm excited for it and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video But what comes up must also come down. Is that time again, baby? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I'm excited. Okay. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Look. Uh. Fuck that mainstream shit. Fine, got a piece of, got a couple sharp things slip. I said that you mad, Mark is still watching the same drip. While I'm flooding the TV business, all at my eight trips. I ain't going with motherfuckers claiming that they be lit. With the same old mug, 17 on the lame whip. I done took my product from the trap for the raid hit. Cause I'm up on my price while opposition remains sick. I ain't ducking. Did he say he, he took his product f out the trap before the raid hit? Or product track raid i don't know man is there subtitles let's see maybe i'm shooting myself in the foot ah okay so we're gonna do that we're gonna rewind it now because in the beginning i heard i heard him say if he doesn't have like a gun right he's got a, sh a couple sharp things slipped slipped i think that's what he said like just like tucked um which means you know he's always ready but, um, but yeah, there was a few other things that I wanted to kind of pause for, but I, I just, I never really know if what he's saying is what he's saying. And I've mentioned this before, guys, don't let people paint pictures that don't exist. After I did quite a few easy mill reactions, I watched one or two of the same videos I reacted to of other people. You can tell that they're trying to... They're trying to fool you guys. Or they're just foolish. Either way. I don't want to talk about what other channels do. I'm not going to name them directly. But you can tell. Because what they'll do is they'll, they'll paint a picture about something that doesn't exist. If you looked at the lyrics, they're like, they're making up stories and narratives and using just, it's just, it's just conjecture. And it's not the artist's intent. It's not. And some people fall for that shit. I hope it's not you guys. You guys in the Philippines, you guys are better than that. If you're in the U.S. and you're Filipino, hey, you're representing out here, you're better than that. If you're a fan of hip-hop, you're better than that. Be better than that if you're not. 
They only do what you allow them to, so hold yourself accountable. There needs to be some accountability within the fan bases of not just an artist within hip-hop because there's a reason why this shit died out for so long and why the people that were trying to keep it alive never really popped. We got an artist here who was completely independent that did all the shit on his own, and he got signed. He grinded. He put in the work. He created some amazing music, and it paid off. Okay, let's rewind it. It's that time again, baby. Okay, yeah, uh. Okay, okay, easy, yeah, look. Uh, fuck that mainstream shit If I ain't got a piece of got a couple sharp things slip I said that you mad Mark is still watching the same drip While Okay, so yeah, yeah I, I thought this is what he was saying, right? It was like, you're mad because you're washing the same clothes And like, I'm flooding I got all the clothes in the world um, The TV business all in my eight trips I mean, I'm not gonna use conjecture here When he said Fuck that mainstream shit. It would have been dope if he would have said the big fish in the water to make that mainstream shift if your kid's out of order. I don't I was thinking of bars like Oh, like your kids. Like some kids out of order. I'm about to take these whips. Some some something. I mean, this is just off off top. I don't freestyle. I, I write, you guys know that. But I'm while I'm listening, while I'm reacting. I am also playing it out in my head to see where he's going with it and kind of seeing where I would have gone with it. I do this for every artist, so it's it's not it's not personal. This is dope, and he's swaggy. He's super swaggy. I love it. I love it. this. This is good so far. Okay, easy. Yeah, look. Uh, fuck that mainstream shit. Fine, got a piece of, got a couple sharp things slip. I said that you mad, Mark is still watching the same drip. While I'm flooding the TV business, all at my eight trips. I ain't going with motherfuckers claiming that they be lit. With the same old mug, 17 on the lame whip. I done took my product from the trap for the raid hit. Cause I'm up on my price. Well, I See, they said the, tr he said track, but if he would have used trap, it would have been dope too. Cause traps, the trap usually gets raided. But. He might have had to, to reword things. Did I don't know if these subtitles were input from Easy Mail or by Easy Mail or if they're just being automatically generated. Maybe I should look up lyrics. I don't know. But but either way, it's cool. I like it. Product from the trap for the raid hit. Cause I'm up on my price while opposition remains sick. I ain't ducking them bullets. You siding me. Why you hiding your face with my eyes? Can't like see that. that would deepen the season for crap and tree. Watch me chill down my seat while I'm sewing my D. And it goes like up, down, clutch, plow. Wanna see you duck oh, wow. now. Uptown, okay. chunk, chow. Bouncing in the club. Right. It go like up, down, clutch, plow. Wanna see you duck now. Uptown, chunk, chow. Bouncing in the club. It go like up, down. Now you guys already know that I know that you know he's a he's a really solid dancer. I think if anything, if this is what got him on Eminem's radar, it's because of everything, right? He's dancing, he's swaggy, he probably produced the beat. Like, I don't, I don't know who produced it. He, he typically produces a lot of his stuff. Um, and the video shot pretty well, too. I don't know who these other people he's dancing with are, but but cool. That They're all getting it in. Um, if, that was the, if that was the hook, it's catchy. It's catchy. Yeah. Yeah, it's catchy. Okay. I like this. Big ol' like up, down, clutch, block, water, see you up now. What I do like too, I don't know what's about to happen right now, but it sounded kind of cool. Um, is that when he's clapping, you actually hear the clap, so it's it's synchronized. Nice touch. I wanna see you duck now, uptown, chunk chow, bouncing in the club, it go like up down, clutch plot, wanna see you duck now, uptown, chunk chow, bouncing in the club, it go like up down, clutch plot, wanna see you duck now, uptown, chunk 
trout. Bossin' at the club, it go like up, down, clutch, block. Water ski, up now, uptown, trunk, chow. Bossin' at the club, it go like clink, clink, clink. The way I tinker up on how I hate a think, think, think. Eyes are open and they're trying to make me blink, blink, blink. Icebergs in the sea, but I won't sink, 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 mm. sink. City drink, drink, woo. Baby, show me all your dance moves. And I like that. I like that. From a structural standpoint, it's it's really solid. It's a really solid rhyme scheme. And it's creative as well. And it, you know, it was choreographed pretty dope. I mean, on a song without the visual, maybe it's a little less impactful, but with the visual, it's even more dope. I like that. I'm going to rewind that a little bit. Let's see. Where is that at? And then, you know, obviously you guys get the Iceberg Sink, Titanic. He didn't mention Titanic, but I mean that's that's an easy one. Um, eyes open, blink. I mean, come on. They go like clink, clink, clink. The way I tinker up on how I hate it. Think, think, think. Eyes are open and they're trying to make me blink, blink, blink. Icebergs in the sea, but I won't sink, 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 sink. City drink, drink, woo. Baby, show me all your dance moves, and maybe we could go out to the store and get you some bags too. I'm just, I'm that cool, and if you're mans and you wanna scrap, I'll let y'all know that I can be that dude. Wait, 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 he's gonna beat both their asses? Okay, all right, easy. I, hey, I see you. I've, I've been in, I've been in some situations where I almost had to do the same shit. But anyways, um. That was dope. It was swaggy. He's like, you know, he's just talking that shit. And I like when rappers talk that shit. It, it makes me happy. I don't know why. Like, I want you to brag about shit like that. It's, I, it's dope to me. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this for sure. He's about to play some... What is that? Tekken? Looks like Tekken. Let's rewind it. Your mans and you wanna scrap or let y'all know that I can be that dude huh. Back forward 2-1 with the laser scrape But shit was broken back and mm. forth But now in 7 takes you haters out Better take another oh, route Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, he said the la laser scrapper or laser scraper That's Jin, Jin's move, right? Evil Jin or Devil Jin? I forgot his name I forgot what Tekken, what Tekken that was I don't think it was 3 I don't remember I used to, I mean, I'm a huge gamer to this day. I don't play many fighting games anymore, but I was a huge Tekken and Soul Calibur fan growing up. Um, but yeah, okay, cool, cool. I like that, some Tekken bars. My favorite Tekken line, it's not even really a bar, was from Ilmac in the Dub RC's World Rap Champions. Um, it was uh, versus Mad Ills and Parable. And Parable just had like some bad acne issues, but he had like dreads and shit. And Ill Mac told this dude, <clears throat> look who stepped to me. It's Eddie G from Tekken three with leprosy or some sort of flesh disease. That shit was so dope back then. This was like 2006. So yeah, so I was about 16, 2006, 2007 around there. But, um, but yeah, no, this is dope. And then the uh, the the graphics, the 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 like the the move, whatever that was, the explosion that he did, that was dope too. That's a nice a nice little touch as well. I like this. I like the way that this was shot. And I haven't seen any edits either, which is pretty cool. Two one with the laser scrape, but shit was broken back and forth. But now when seven takes you haters out, better take another route. I'm insane without a doubt. Put my meat inside a trout in a bit. Now you two lips are proud of me. Why you hiding your face? Two lips, two lips. Okay. Tulips. Put my meat inside a trout in a bit. Now you tulips are proud of me. Why you hiding your face with my eyes? Can see that we're deep in the season for crap and tree. Watch me drill down my seat while I'm sowing my D. And it goes like up, down, clutch, plow. Wanna see you duck now? Uptown, okay, jump, chop, the club. It go like up, down, clutch, plow. Wanna see you duck now? Uptown, jump, chop, bustin' at the club. It go like up, down, clutch, plow. Wanna see you duck now? Uptown, jump, Chow, the club, go like up, down, clutch, black, water, see you 
your big girl like this Every planet know that easy never miss If he can't then he'll have it His cleverness is measureless However it's an endeavor to sever his seven myths For there's still eleven heavens His vision has never kissed And ever since he vented in seconds Selling it in bits He forever will level the lever One plus twenty-six So if you notice the motive that they try to run you with They'll expose you and hold you for not complying with their shit But fuck them so I'm just going to assume there was some some sort of number thing going on if you do the adding and there's going to be I told you guys it's a little cryptic. Uh the multisyllabics was was pretty cool. The uh the never missed seven seven myths whatever whatever that whole thing. My Patreon members know I I, I use multisyllabics um at a pretty high level as well. So if you're new here, it's not that I'm not impressed, it's just it, it, it's dope. It's dope. We'll just we can just leave it at that. It's cool. I like the way he did that. Down clutch black waters heat up now. Uptown trunk child bustin' in the club. It go like this. Every planet know that easy never miss. If he can't, then he'll have it. His cleverness is measureless. However, it's an endeavor to sever his seven myths. For there's still eleven heavens. His vision has never kissed. And ever since he vented in seconds, selling it in bits. He forever will level the lever. One plus twenty six. So if you notice the motive that they try to run you with, they'll expose you and hold you for not complying with their shit. But fuck them. They'll note you up as a Broke, dolo, and opioids My adhesive track skills all lord So help them push Just try to catch me While you're hiding your face But my eyes can see That we're deep in the season For crap and tree Watch me drill down my seat While I'm sowing my D And it goes like Up, down, clutch, plow Wanna see you duck now Uptown, chunk, chow Bouncing in the club it that, that clutch, plow Wanna see you duck now that, that That's pretty cool too I like that That, that adds a layer and some substance to a chorus that's kind of just rhyming word like you, you get what i'm saying so it's, it's cool it's cool i like it bouncing in the club it go okay i like that go like up down clutch block wanna see you duck now uptown trunk chow bouncing in the club it go like up down clutch block wanna see you duck now uptown trunk chow bouncing in the club it go like up down clutch block wanna see you duck now uptown trunk chow bouncing in the club it go like something cryptic i'm guessing i don't know what that is Oh hey, this is um, was this greed? Was it greed? Still one of my favorite songs. It's amazing. That's dope. I like this man. He's he's giving credit to the dudes that fucking helped him out in this video. Easy Mill, like, as, look, his music aside and my critique aside, you guys know I want to see him win. You guys know I'm a fan. I need to start. I wish I could react to artists that I'm a fan of so you can be like, oh, he's just like that with everyone. Put all that aside. I think based off of what I've heard from his music, he's just a good dude. He's just a good dude. He's a good dude. He seems like he's a good son, a good brother. I mean, a good friend. And he's a, he's an amazing artist. I was going to say he's a good artist. Nah, he's a, he's a great artist as well. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, this... I thought... Look, I'm not going to lie. I thought this was going to let me down a little bit. I'm not going to lie. And that might sound a little wild to you guys, but I, I've been a little disappointed in the past with some of his music. Um... It's still been better than a lot of other people's music, but that that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for, for great music, and Will You is still a fucking masterpiece. Don't agree? I mean, you could fight me. I don't know what you want me to tell you.
that dude looks pretty familiar. I, I know, like, out here in California, in Southern California, and, and Northern as well, uh, we have a really big, like, b-boy and, and dance crew scene. It's been, I mean, if you Google, like, dance crews that come out of Southern California, you'll see some really big names. But, um, but yeah, no, that was, uh, that was dope. It's not over yet, so let, let's, let's see what Easy's gonna do. Having fun. Fuck yeah. should have fun that was a good song man that was a good song I, I i've had to remove like the part of my brain that's like okay cool this was put together cleverly but like what does it mean when it comes to easy mail i've had to put that and cast that aside right um i'm, I'm doing i'm trying to do my best guys i'm trying to do it for eminem as well i'm trying to do it for a lot of rappers I, I wish that i could do it for a lot of the rappers that i really really like as well it, it, it would help me appreciate the music in a different way i wouldn't say more because i feel like what i'm trying to do is appreciate it the most but i need things to appreciate so I, i'm just trying to appreciate things differently and just kind of not take it too seriously i do remove the emotional element for, for the most part from um my uh interpretation of the song but no this was this was good i i think it exceeded my expectations to be quite honest with you so um i mean where does this one go playlist no list blacklist yeah man i can look i can pull up to a, a club a bar bump this in my car going it's just wherever I can play this in the office, like on a Friday when we're about to leave. You know what I mean? Like, nah, it's one of those songs. It's a mood enhancer. And it's got some bars. It's catchy. Like, yeah, nah, I, I like it. I definitely like it. So uh, that's going to be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I hope to catch you all on the next one.